Kanye's been in the news a lot lately because of his angry posts on social media. When he went on Fox News, he added more fuel to the fire. Kanye West made a comment about Lizzo's body, and in response, the songstress Lizzo gave Kanye West an indirect clap back. Welcome to our channel, Scoop of Gossip, your daily dose of gossip. Now, without any more delay, let's jump into the video. Kanye West has recently made a number of statements that have caused a lot of controversy, and the rapper recently did an interview with Tucker Carlson to talk about these statements. During the course of the interview, Ye made some new revelations about the body positivity movement. He also referred to the singer Lizzo as his good friend. He had a lot to say about his alleged good friend Lizzo, who also allegedly works with his trainer. When Lizzo loses 10 pounds and announces it, the bots, that's a term for like telemarketer callers on Instagram, they attack her for losing weight, he said to Carlson. Bots is a term for Instagram users who behave in a manner similar to telemarketer callers. Kanye West is quoted as saying that the reason for this is because the media wants to put out a perception that being overweight is the new goal when it is actually unhealthy. Putting aside the question of whether or not being overweight is attractive, he went on to say that being overweight is actually clinically unhealthy and that it is demonic for people to promote being overweight. Kanye then made the claim that it's a genocide of the black race in response to Carlson's question about why people would want to promote such an idea. They intend to put an end to us in any way they can. Lizzo appeared to react to the excessive use of her name in media interviews on Friday, October 7th, when she performed in Toronto. She did this by calling attention to the problem. I feel like everybody in America got my name in their mouth for no reason, Lizzo said to the audience at the concert. She continued by saying, I'm minding my fat, black, beautiful business. And then she turned to the audience and asked, can I stay here? Who could I wear to get that dual citizenship? Through TMC, you will be able to watch the singer make comments while performing in Toronto. Because of the actions being taken against Kanye West on multiple social media platforms, it may become increasingly difficult for him to make statements that could be considered provocative. The rapper's Twitter account was locked on Sunday after he allegedly posted content that was anti-Semitic, just one day after Instagram restricted his account from posting anti-Semitic comments. Ye spoke out about what he called the demonic promotion of obesity that is carried out by the media in an interview with Tucker Carlson. He revealed that it was all part of a scheme to speed up the genocide of the black race, which was their state of go. Not only did he discuss Lizzo, but he also opened up about the treatment of his ex-wife Kim Kardashian in the fashion industry. The rapper talked about Kim's most recent magazine cover. He claimed that the entertainment industry does not respect her in the same way that they respect other celebrities, despite the fact that she is a Christian and has strong family ties. In the wake of the controversy surrounding his White Lives Matter comments, Kanye West has recently called out a number of celebrities, including Gigi Hadid. Kanye West took to Instagram to respond to Vogue fashion editor Gabriella Johnson, who called his Yeezy presentation deeply offensive, violent, and dangerous because he sent models down the runway wearing t-shirts that said White Lives Matter. Gigi Hadid called him a bully and a joke after seeing Gabriella's comments, the rapper went on social media and said that she was not a fashion person. Gigi then weighed in on the subject. Gabriella's close friend Gigi replied to one of Ye's posts on October 4th. The supermodel left a comment on Kanye's post that showed a text conversation with someone named Moa Lola. This person is thought to be British-based designer Moa Lola Ogunlezi, who Kanye chose a few years ago to work on his Yeezy Gap line. In the text, she tells Ye not to insult the journalist. It happened after Gabriella talked about how she felt about Ye's most recent collection, which she saw from the front row. During the Yeezy Season 9 event, Ye wore a shirt that read White Lives Matter, which caused the majority of people working in the fashion industry to become agitated. The Anti-Defamation League has determined that the words that were written over it constitute a hate slogan. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, then like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the next one.